Connection of the junction box with two through cables and two cables left for the receptacle. There are two pass-through cables, connected in the junction box, and two cables for connecting the receptacle in the junction box. The junction box contains the extension cable connection for the three-way switch and the cables for the receptacle. Cables will be spliced in a 4-inch square junction box of appropriate size. Mark the height of the receptacle. Four inch square two and one eight inch deep stud mount metal junction box details. Capacity 30 cubic inches. Cable knockouts three quarters and one half inch, 14 total. Mounting brackets. Ground screw hole. Screws for attaching rings and covers of electrical devices. Junction box, rear view. Junction box, bracket side view. Holes for attaching the junction box to the stud. The edge of the bracket that should be mounted flush with the edge of the stud. You will also need Ground screw Staples Anti-short bushing, redhead, for BX, armored cable Approved cable connector for BX cable Snap-in cable connector for NM, non-metallic sheathed, cable Installation screws Wire nuts Wire nuts for ground wire splicing Cable stackers 1 half inch rise 1 gang device ring, for 1 half inch drywall, 3.5 cubic inches capacity Slots for attaching the device ring to the junction box Holes for securing electrical devices to the ring Device ring, rear view Install the junction box to the stud. Four inch square two and one eight inch deep stud mount metal junction box is large enough to accommodate two fourteen three and two twelve two cables according to the NEC National Electrical Code junction box calculation. The device ring capacity may be added to the junction box calculation. Remove the BX cable jacket, not less than six inches. Insert the redheads into the cable jacket, and wrap the cable bonding strip around the cable jacket.
Install an approved cable connector on the cable. Select and open the junction box knockout. Insert the cable connector with cable into the open junction box knockout and tighten the cable connector nut. Make sure the clamp connector screw and nut are tightened to ensure proper grounding. Secure the cable to the stud no more than 12 inches from the cable entry into the junction box. Select and open the junction box knockouts for NM, non-metallic sheathed, cables. Insert the cable connectors into the open cable knockouts. Install a cable stacker to support the NM cable. Insert the cables into the cable connectors and support them in cable stackers. Remove the cable sheath.
14. 3BX cable to 3-way switch. 14. 3NM cable to extend BX cable to 3-way switch. Cable to the receptacle from the power source. Cable from the receptacle to the other receptacle outlets. 12. 2NM cable wires. White, neutral wire. Bare, ground wire. Black, hot wire. 14. 3NM cable wires. Black, hot wire. Red, hot wire. Bare, ground wire. White, neutral wire. 14. 3BX cable wires. White, neutral wire. Black, hot wire. Red, hot wire. Cable jacket, ground wire. Install the ground screw. Wrap one of the ground, bare, wires of the largest size cable around the ground screw and tighten the screw. Connect the cable wires in the junction box as follows. All ground, Bear, wires together, leaving the pigtail made of larger wire spliced outside the junction box. Connect by color, white to white, black to black, red to red, the wires from the 14. 3BX and NM cables to the three-way switch and insert it into the junction box.
Group all remaining wires from other cables and pigtail wire and cut them no shorter than 6 inches from the bottom of the junction box. A set of wires to connect to the receptacle. Secure the hot, black, wires with wire nuts, if necessary, and insert them into the junction box. Install the one gang device ring. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.